Are you tired of this happening while taming a woolly rhino? My name's Techorsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a woolly rhino, and if you stick around I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed woolly rhino. First off, let's prepare. The foods you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Superior kibble, crops, mijo berries, all other berries. I'd recommend using superior kibble. All the other food types take the same amount of time with a varying quantity. You'll need around 150 narcotics per hour after the first 25 minutes during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 30 can take between 15 minutes and 1 hour, a level 60 can take between 21 minutes and an hour and a half, a level 120 can take between 36 minutes and 2 hours and 45 minutes, a level 150 can take between 42 minutes and 3 hours and 15 minutes. These times are the difference between the kibble and everything else. The recipe for superior kibble is 1 large egg, 2 citronelle, 2 rare mushrooms, 1 prime meat jerky, 1 sap, 5 fiber, and 1 water. Like many other herbivores, woolly rhinos are not aggressive until you attack. Then every woolly rhino in the area will start to attack you. They tend to spawn in packs of 1 to 3, but can group up together in larger groups. So I'll assume that you're able to split the one you want away from the group, and I'll give a couple of methods for dealing with a pack. The most straightforward way to knock out a rhino is by outrunning or tanking it with a mount while shooting it with trank ammo. You could attempt to use preset large bear traps to immobilize the rhino so you can get some free shots on it. But there are better ways to utilize large bear traps, such as by making a trap structure such as a birdcage trap. Build four stone dinosaur gateways in a row with the large bear trap in the middle and lure the rhino into the bear trap. Once it's inside, place the doors on either side of the trap. The thing is, woolly rhinos cannot fit through this particular gateway if the doors are installed. Another option is to make a billboard trap. Place metal billboards in a roughly square shape with a side missing and a large bear trap in the middle. Lure the woolly rhino into the large bear trap and lock it in with the final billboard. Another type of trap which doesn't require the use of large bear traps is a box trap. A 2x2 stone box with a ramp up one side of it. This trap size can support two rhinos. If you're wanting to trap more, you'll probably want to increase it up to a 3x3. You can also pick up woolly rhinos with a quetzal and carry it back to a pre-built taming pen. We 
Whichever way you decide to use, pelt the woolly rhino with Trank Ammo until it's unconscious. Put your food of choice in narcotics in its inventory and maintain a still pour so it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. The Woolly Rhino Saddle Ingram can be learned at level 53 and can be crafted in the smithy with hide, fiber, cementing paste, and metal ingots. Their primary attack is a headbutt. The Woolly Rhino has a charge meter that builds up as they sprint. Once the charge meter is fully built up, their primary attack deals 8 times their normal damage. You can use weapons while riding a Woolly Rhino. Wild Woolly Rhinos drop a Woolly Rhino horn on death. These horns can be used in recipes which call for leech blood or horns, or recipes which call for just horns. The only recipes I'm aware of which this applies are Lesser Antidotes and Broth of Enlightenment, respectively. There's an X form of the Woolly Rhino which first appeared in the Arctic area of the Genesis Part 1 map. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.